Um, how do the conversations go with those five people that you have to call every day so that it doesn't sound like you're selling someone? He wants to know how to have the conversations without feeling like, like sounding like you're trying to sell them, right? How do you how do you how do you start or how do you begin a relationship? How do you create a great first impression with someone, right? Listen, no, listen, listen. The number one uh, objective for a real estate agent, right? The number one objective, okay? Your number one goal every day when you're talking to prospects is not to set an appointment, to get a listing, close a deal, do any of that stuff. The number one objective is, is just to make them feel comfortable with you, right? To make them feel comfortable with you. So let me take you through the process. Once you understand that it's not to set an appointment, but there's not going to be an appointment if they don't feel comfortable with you. So that's got to be number one. And then the appointments somewhere down the line, right? Too many people are going after appointments when obviously it's a very uncomfortable situation. They're just going for it. No, connect first, then convert. Right? So the only way to be, to make them feel comfortable with you is to be comfortable with them. That's the only way you're going to be, they're going to be comfortable with you is if you're comfortable. That's step number one to, to, to having a conversation and not coming off salesy and creating a great first impression and building a relationship that could last. That's step number one is to make them feel comfortable with you. And that happens in the first 2.7 seconds based on your tone, you know, like when, 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 you, when you're cold calling, calling anybody, warm calling, cold calling, calling, cold call is a bad word. When you're calling people and they answer the phone and they hear you, your voice, you know, hey, they should be thinking, who is this? Not who the heck is this, but who is this? It sounds like I know them, right? That's the feeling they need to get. Like, is this my brother calling me all of a sudden? Like, where, where you been, right? <laughs> It, 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 like you got to get your tone down. You got to get your tone down, right? Then we can start talking about scripting. Until you get this part down, it doesn't matter what you say. Nothing's gonna work. You know what I mean? Now we'll talk about the scripts. But I'm, but go back and watch the video. Get this part down first. Then it's like, hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson. It's so and so with whatever realty. How you doing today? Oh, don't say how you doing today. Don't say. That's what the gurus say. Don't say how are you doing. Oh, I can't say, I can't ask people how they're doing now. That's like a, that's like a cardinal rule. I'm never supposed to do that in sales. It works great for me, right? You know why? Because I ask my mother how she's doing and I'm going to ask, I'm going to talk to my prospects like I do my family because they're an extended part of my family, right? Think about them like they're an extended part of your family. Cool. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't gorgeous? Listen, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a house right around the corner from you just sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Not, Mr. Seller, you don't know me and I don't know you, but you, will you sell your house so I can make some money? Because that's what all the mainstream scripts make you sound like. If you're using mainstream scripts, mainstream coaching programs that say, have you thought about selling? Would you sell? Have you thought about moving? It's garbage.